All right, guys, here's absolutely everything you probably missed in the GTA 6 trailer. Let's get into this. All right, this is the first scene of the GTA 6 trailer, and we can get a first look at what it's going to be look like. In the distance here, we can actually see the prison. This is what the GTA 6 prison is going to look like in Vice City. This is absolutely crazy. You can also actually see Vice City over here in the distance. That's right, that is actually Vice City with all them skyscrapers much, much bigger then Los Santos. This is going to be crazy. As you can see on the highway here, we can actually see a red car and that is the Red Gauntlet Hellfire from GTA 5. So we are going to get a return of a bunch of cars throughout this trailer. Also, we can see on the road here, there is a truck towing a boat, which could potentially mean we can tow boats in GTA 6, which will be very, very useful because Florida is surrounded by water. So it will make so much sense. We can also see a brand new brand here and it's called Patriot Beer. This was not in GTA 5. So this is a brand new new brand that's going to be introduced into GTA 6 which I'm very excited about. So in this scene we actually get the first shot of the prison. We'll see in the next scene why it's the prison because obviously they have the barbed wire gates and in the next scene we actually see Lucia in prison with the orange jumpsuit on with inmate on the back and if we actually look down here we can see like a shot of a family portrait photo. I don't know if this is a Lucia family portrait but it is a family portrait that's in her cell so it could potentially be her family who knows there was a leak earlier in the year on gta 6 that apparently there was going to be a prison break scene so that could potentially mean lucia breaks out of prison as we know and it's confirmed here that she is in prison starts off in prison in this next scene is the shot of the counselor talking to lucia in prison and we get to see her name is stephanie so this counselor is actually called stephanie who's speaking to lucia this could potentially be a big part of the story who knows in this next shot we actually get the first shot of Vice City and the water in Vice City. Now it looks absolutely incredible. The water physics look crazy compared to GTA 5 but we also get a first shot of a boat. We also can see dolphins. We then get our first shot of Vice City like a over bird's eye view shot of it and I've actually counted there's 19 skyscrapers in the distance which is crazy crazy 19 skyscrapers in the distance i don't even know how many is going to be in the city but just in the distance alone over here as well we can see a maverick helicopter which is actually from gta 5 so that's also going to be returning and we see a dodo plane with a sign attached to it so we're going to get dodo planes again quite a few vehicles returning from gta 5 which makes a lot of sense in this next scene we actually get a shot of one of the apartment looking buildings with palm trees so there's not much to go off here but the indication is that we could get more foliage and like greenery in this game who knows so in this next scene we actually get our first look at the everglades and this is like a swamp area in florida in real life but in gta we actually get our first look at the everglades within the game and it's a very very swampy area and we can actually see a fan boat that's driving down the lake here which looks like two men with a gun on there so i'm not 100 who they are probably just random people but this is really really cool imagine like a mission where you're shooting off like these fan boats in this next shot we actually get another look at the everglades and we can actually see here a bunch of animals we can actually see some flamingos we can see a duck and we can also see alligators that's right we're actually gonna get alligators like walking around in these swampy areas okay so this next scene is very important this is the beach scene where we get our first look at all the npcs a bunch of characters and this is going to be crazy if consoles can handle this with this many npcs in one area at once with so much going on this is crazy or oh, this could just be for the trailer i don't think it will be i mean look at how intense this is so many people in such a social area we have such enhanced models as well i mean look at this jack guy running down the beach with his tiny little chihuahua it's just crazy this person's getting like sun cream on them we can see someone's on their phone here just so much going on so much life so much immersion is insane but back to this guy running with his pet here like running down the beach with his little chihuahua this could potentially mean that we could have pets in gta we actually have a returning vehicle here as well another helicopter the buckingham super valito this helicopter right here we have a 
Seas Pharaoh, and this is returning again from GTA 5. This is a helicopter that can actually land on water. So a very, very cool helicopter. It's got like two seats. We can also see that the Sea Shark jet skis are gonna be returning right here, which is really, really cool. I mean, who doesn't wanna drive jet skis around in GTA? And we can actually see an empty trailer down here, which could mean, which I mentioned before, that we could potentially drive boats and uh, undock them like we can tow cars in gta 5 but we can't tow boats which is a shame but maybe we can do it in gta 6. the next scene is the dock scene as you can see here we can see four boats literally right next to this huge cargo ship like massive cargo ship this could potentially be part of one of a mission in gta 6 who knows again speculation just pointing things out here in the trailer in this next scene a very very important scene we can actually see lucia driving around in a convertible car and we can actually get a first confirmation of two locations within this gta 6 gate we can actually see up here kelly county and vice city airport which is down that way on route 97 and 404 west and then we can also see stockyard downtown which is uh, an exit off this uh, highway i'm not sure if stockyard is separate to downtown i think it's just all in one again i'm not 100 percent sure but we got some confirmed locations which is sick you can also see a guy filming lucia while she's like standing outside the car we can see jason's head here but this guy's like filming lucia which means phones are probably going to be a big part of the game which makes so much sense because phones are a big part of life we could also potentially use our phones to film while driving or just film in general so that could be another potential thing we see this in the trailer someone doing it so why could we not do it who knows okay so the next scene is actually a car meet scene we have a bunch of cars which is really really cool here we can see like a high rise car higher suspension car here if we move a little bit more forward we get to see more of the different people that are inside this area i'm not sure of the location where this is vehicle customization looks way more enhanced than it does in gta 5 we can actually see a really cool livery on this bike here cool colors a cool livery on this car it just looks really really cool we're probably going to get really really enhanced customization on cars in gta 6 this next scene is our first look at the jack of hearts nightclub as you can see here there's a lot going on compared to the nightclub in gta 6 but it looks pretty cool i'm the first thing i noticed in this was the bottle service with the bottle girls walking around in this nightclub which is really really cool you can also see a make it rain monday so maybe there's like certain days for certain events maybe there's like events in this in this next scene we see two guys dapping each other up and these are obviously gang members you can see with the grills with a chain with the tattoos these are obviously gang members this guy's got a bandana on this is really really cool because these two characters look very very detailed now these could be completely random npcs ultra realistic or they could be huge huge parts of the story now i think personally they are parts of the story because they've got their own close-up the next scene we get a night shot of vice city this one is so cool we have the intersection here with a bunch of different cars going through like a toll station we also have the tennis court which is over here which is going to be returning from gta 5 where you can actually play tennis which is i mean who doesn't want to play tennis and also see a huge yacht out here i'm hoping in gta 6 we'll be able to actually drive the yachts this next scene is so cool we get our first First look at the vice city strip full of life it just looks so realistic on here and i'm gonna point out a few things on here that i noticed immediately was the cars we have the first one which is the fister comet s2 which is right here it literally is the porsche i mean that car is just beautiful that's also returning from gta 5 we have the grotty cheetah classic which as you can see is the classic ferrari remake for gta and i mean, look at the number plate it literally says cheetah which is really sick you can also see a grotty carbanazar here which is just over here that's also going to be returning to gta 6 and we have a orange gauntlet hellfire so that's four cars that are going to be returning to gta 6 from gta 5 that we can see in this shot right here we can also see like a homeless guy here that looks like he's begging these people so i'm guessing there's going to be like homeless people begging on the street that maybe you could like give money to give things to who knows this next shot is a shot of the vice key which is obviously based off the real life florida keys and this shot is 
insane. I mean, look at the water physics in GTA 6. They look so real. It literally looks like a real life shot. But moving on to things you might have missed uh, here, we can actually see a huge cargo ship actually out in the water. It's actually driving. We did not get this in GTA 5. You couldn't hijack like cargo ships or anything like that. And another cargo ship following it behind. So maybe we can actually hijack cargo ships and drive them. In our next shot, we actually get a scene of like a short form TikTok clip that is like a guy dancing on his boat and it's dad bod squad and you can follow so this could imply that there's going to be some kind of social media system within gta 6 which makes complete sense they implement real life things into gta so it makes total sense that's going to be an actual social media system within a game we have another scene here have a nice day someone called the department of transport on this dump truck some lady having some great fun on her car there now in this scene we actually get a shot of the underground racing scene in GTA 6 and you can see cars drifting here so that could mean there's an enhanced drifting mechanic in GTA 6 they're literally letting off so much smoke so much gas here it's really cool if you can do car meets and drifting I mean oh my gosh that will be insane this next scene is so cool we get a shot of a CCTV footage of a alligator walking into a store now in this clip we can actually see a few things we can actually see that go postal is going Going to return from gta 5 that was a very big part of gta 5 go postal a brand you can also see a millionaire's like lottery ticket station here now this is just a kind of prediction but it is in the clip can we potentially like buy lottery tickets and then win money in game that would be very very cool we can buy scratch cards or maybe enter the lottery and win in this next clip we actually see another short form like video clip of this guy running away from the police and it says planet Lo Leo Nida Man. And Leo Nida is actually another name for Florida, which is uh, GTA's version of Florida. And we can just see him like running around another instance of why social media is probably going to be a massive part of GTA 6. This next clip is actually very important. Another like short form video clip in GTA 6. But we can actually see in this one, we can see some locations in the background here. So we can actually see Vice Beaches, uh, Port VC slash Keys, which is the Keys area, which we looked at before you can also see vice uh, city airport i think and kelly uh, county which is again more locations for us which is really really cool coming back to this clip i forgot to mention the gas stations are most likely going to be called arrow this gas station is called arrow instead of the old one in gta 5 which is ron oil so we're actually going to have arrow instead of ron oil so in this clip we actually have thrill billy mud club which in this scene we can see a bunch of people just covered in mud but i bunch of quads around and like high suspension cars which could mean there's gonna be like a load of drifting and off-roading is gonna be a massive part of GTA 6 as we can see here like people enjoying themselves having fun and we can also see over here some new kind of dune buggies which look really really fun that we could potentially be driving around off-road now in this clip you would think there's not much going on just some woman stood with some hammers but the caption actually says neighborhood watch don't play around in Hamlet so potentially that has something to do with the hammers or is an actual place hamlet is probably going to be a place in gta 6 which is pretty cool so yeah that's something to bear in mind hamlet another location so in this shot we get our first look at some cop cars here driving past which look really really cool but then we actually get our first ever shot of jason in the trailer as you can see here this is jason driving a car with a bandana on and he's driving with lucia with some money in her hand and she also has a bandana on this next scene we actually get a look at a huge car crash scene like a live weasel news which weasel news is going to be returning from gta 5 but if we look in this clip there's a massive car crash like a car's flipped it's obviously smoking it's crashed there's way more car mechanics and it looks like we're actually going to get dynamic car crashing mechanics in gta 6 so you can't just like go up a ramp and do 720 triple backflips now if you do that you're going to absolutely destroy your car it looks like so i really enjoy that it's going to increase immersion especially for gta rp this is going to be insane then we get this shot of this high rollers lifestyle page with this guy pointing at the camera it isn't on for too long it looks like he's you know the kind of big guy with white shirt chains on tattoos gold ring i feel like this is going to be some kind of lifestyle social media page or tv channel then in this clip we actually get to see 
see that Lucia and Jason actually have some kind of relationship. They're obviously in some intimate relationship here. They're like leaning over each other, talking to each other, whatever, looking at each other in an intimate way. And then finally, in the last clip, we finally get the release date of GTA 6. It's coming in 2025. So I can't believe I'm actually seeing this from today's date, which is the 5th of December. That is well over a year. Yes, it is coming well over a year from now. But guys, if you enjoyed, please make sure to like, subscribe, and GTA 6 content is definitely coming, so stay around. I love you all. See you later. Peace.